his hair. It is time for the great one to do another Try Not to Laugh Challenge. We got ourselves some more Justin Whitehead. My 600-pound life. Can Justin Whitehead break the great one? I couldn't even see the song, bitch. <laughs> he just stuck. <laughs> I didn't. You probably missed it, too. Highly, Highly. J-Rock hands, hands come back to you, too. To you too. Do you what is happening in here and in with the millions? <laughs> And millions of J-Rock fans from all over the world. That's right, J-Rock is here. We got ourselves another Justin Whitehead, my 600 pound life commentary. Make sure you go and check out the other uh, my 600 pound life commentaries. Try not to laugh challenges that are up right now on the Great Ones channel. Also, if you have not done so already, make sure you lay the smack down on that subscribe button, that like button, that share button, and that thanks button. Any support you drop on this video, J-Rock would appreciate that. All right? But we're not going to waste some more time. J-Rock says this, Justin Whitehead, just pray. Ooh. Shy time. Ah, damn, that's a little ass high. <coughs> Motherfucker's so small, you can heat it with a blow dryer. Hmm. Let's look at how he just laying in that My life damn bed. My life is a constant struggle because of how big I am. Every day is misery, and right in the morning... Look at that damn... I don't even know what the fuck that was. And it's not just in parts of my body. It's everywhere. And it gets worse by the day because I keep getting bigger. And now it's so bad, it's hard to do just about anything. Get your ass on up and, and, and uh, yes, throw a damn shirt on. Me and my wife... See this shit? ...in the same bed. Because of how big we both are now. So I try to do what I need, then go and help her. Because her weight has made it difficult for her. And it takes a lot mentally. And well, you better not put them goddamn shots down in that fucking kitchen. Look, look at that. I be goddamn. And Charlene. Where's the damn blur? Yo, he kill me when he. What the fuck you got a clear shower curtain for? But look at that damn water. So I have to look. try to do this every day. And then I have to do it for me and nature. So I have to save some of my energy for that. I ain't seen no so tap of damn soap. Starting to hit my limit. I'm done with my shower. You ain't did nothing but get wet. And go sit your stinking rank ass on that fucking bed. Before I get back up. But at this point, I just want to lay down and go back to sleep. But I still have to get dressed and up for your day. You better hold on to fucking something for you. And I know once I get dressed. Fall and put a damn hole in that floor. We can eat. So I try to get my second win and keep going. Good morning, baby. Good morning, now. Oh, now, what in the fuck we got here? What is that on her damn, uh, uh, whatever the fuck that is? And right now, I'm staying in the living room, and this is, like, my bedroom, and I'm trying to get a little bit. This is where I am all day and all night. I pretty much don't go anywhere. Look at that shit now. And I do just about everything here. I can't. Blow that shit out! Burn the whole damn body out. All of it look like a set of titties in a damn way. Just burn all that shit. Uh -huh. What in the fuck is that on her seat? Uh, uh, stomach? Uh, what a man. You have to have more than a goddamn baby wipe. She looked like a thought out hen. I just wish it was different. But I know for that to happen, me and Alan would have to change the way we eat. But it's 
that's the only thing we have left in our lives that brings us any sort of happiness or joy. You sure can't fuck. Food in our lives, and I don't know what we even wake up for. Alright. Yeah. Alright. Go cook. Okay. Alright. Oh, I bet that a the goddamn highlight. Yo. After I'm done helping me in it, and she's dressed, we can finally eat. And I start cooking the second I can. Because and he's sending out like a fucking short order cook. And when me, we then they are eating. It's like we're in this. Look at all the look at this, look at that shit now. Pull one sausage! <laughs> Oh, that goddamn bacon and this is it. Close your damn legs sitting out like that. I don't give a fuck. Oh. Woo! Superman Just punch for that one. Yeah, because of my accident, I have a speech problem. And it messed me up a lot of ways. Because I feel like... I know good and damn well both of them ain't hugged. But when I was fine, my mom got me married. And I got a new stepdad who became my best friend. And we started to feel like a normal family because my mom didn't have to work all the time and could stay home with us. Man, but shut that fuck up with all that mom, shit and get on with the get on. Got a divorce. And it felt like just look at that damn plate. Annoying friend. I just want to stay in my room and sleep all Put the whole fucking piece in your damn mouth. Put all that goddamn bacon in your mouth, lady. The fuck you saving it for? I ain't this a bitch. I started to get really big, and that made making friends even harder. Because everyone at school just started making fun of me and calling me all kinds of names. Ain't nothing but a damn stroke. And it got so bad when I started high school, I just started skipping all the time. So my teacher actually came to talk to my grandma to tell her that she thinks I should just drop out at that point. So that's what I did. After what kind of fucking teacher was that? Then that helped me feel better, and I kept being. And as I got in my twenties, I was close to being over four hundred pounds then. But Look at her, just in a goddamn. For a bit. Cause some of the kids I knew when I was young graduated from high school and didn't get jobs or go to college or do anything. They oh yeah, don't leave now. Whatever you do. Like so we all started hanging out. As time went on, we Ain't no need of fucking saving none for later. Stealing cars. So I got arrested when I was 21 and spent about 18 months in prison. After I got out, it was really hard to find a job. So I just went back to eating all day. Look at the way they and cleared that goddamn right place. Man, I don't give I a fuck about none of this soft shit. You better move that damn dog before he fucking die. I couldn't even see the stone, bitch. <laughs> he just stuck. <laughs> <My thing. laughs> you probably missed it too. Woo! Woo! Almost broke it. Look, 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 look at the damn dog just uh, trapped. Between her big rust ass and his big sour ass. Ain't now one of them took a decent goddamn bath. Yeah. Who in the fuck is at this damn door? Woo! Woo! I, it better not be no damn food. That better not be no damn food. I be damn. Like that wasn't a fucking no. And it, look, 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 look at her ass. When the, when he damn got the bag in his hand. Watch this. Oh, oh, oh God. Just watch this. This and she had the money stashed over there like it was a damn dope man pulling up. Do you want to have any type of meal Watch it. Watch her ass. When he get that. Watch, watch, watch this. Look. Look at it. I. Slain that fucking bag back out the goddamn door. I can't forget about my life. Didn't they just eat? So what in the fuck is that? You ain't 
gave the damn breakfast time to digest yet. I don't give a goddamn. I done told you this one time. No, you don't want that shit. Boy, I wish one of them damn noodles would slide down your fucking throat and choke the hell out you. And just seemed to settle into this disgust and resentment on me. She was ashamed of having a fat daughter. She didn't want people to know that I was her daughter. Shit, I don't blame her. Like, just look at that shit now. I'm like, who can? Ain't that much eating in the goddamn world. And I got to 100 pounds by the time I was eight. So I was gaining weight faster, <coughs> but it still wasn't out of control. What got it to that point happened when I was 10. Because around then, my parents rented. Oh, goddamn. Get on with this fucking shit. I don't want to hear that. I ain't heard a fucking excuse yet. Why are you sitting there eating all that damn food? And then we ain't with the fucking commercial yet. Look, that, that's how they bond over a damn meal. Because they can't fuck. And I just didn't understand as a kid. Because her liver was completely destroyed. And nobody could help her. So she basically returned home to die. I was 15 then and close to 400 pounds. And she was so disgusted with me that she just stopped talking to me. And that I don't me. damn blame her. Even though my mom had been abusive to me, I still loved her. And I was upset more than anything that she died without us communicating with each other. So after that, I got really depressed. And all now what the fuck you bringing in there now, man? Goddamn dickness. I felt like giving up on life. And like no matter what, I was never gonna get As if you need that shit now. So my life for the next few years pretty much became staying at home and eating and getting bigger. But when I turned 25, I decided I wanted to try and meet someone. That's why I don't feel sorry for your fat ass now. You better put all that shit in your damn mouth, you nasty, ill man of I fell in love with Alan and I just wanted to be with him. So when he asked me to marry him, I said yes. And this is our life now. For the last six or seven years. That ain't shit to brag about here. He ain't handled about it either. So we both continued to gain to our marriage and our lives just for walls around food. But I want more than anything. Look at that. Look how he them fucking ankles just lean over like that. What the fuck is that, man? You gonna have a fucking stroke? Y'all just fucking sure not now. It ain't that much goddamn eating in the world. Just sitting there eating a damn pizza a piece. To the point where I know my heart or my lungs is gonna give up to me. The only thing that scares me more than the thought of dying is the thought of losing out. Bro, I'd like to throw some hot grease on y'all. Look at that shit down. Look at that down. Yeah. Ain't no need to leave a damn uh fucking Can I have that first? Hell no! That's why you have to get up and go in there and, and wipe her ass down now. I don't change. Eat all that shit. Don't be leaving no fucking crossing now. You might as well finish it. Man, that's like four meals. Big meal. Oh, yeah. Just lean back and let it take hold, you damn addict. Just sit there and fucking ate yourself to damn sleep. Look at that shit now. Close your goddamn legs or throw some over it. But, 
in the car. Man, if I have to say you close that shit, blow that shit out! Look at that shit now. I be goddamn. The smack was laid down. When I tell you I was right there, I don't know how I didn't hold on. Yo, when he started talking about the dog and how it was. Started talking about that dog. Man. Woo! Wee! That one killed me, man. J Rock almost had to tap out. He almost had to be down for the cap. Uh, but J Rock kicked out. Uh, they hit everything. Uh, they hit J Rock with everything they could. One, two, J Rock kicked out. Got up, laid those smack down on the challenge like it always does. Victorious once again. Justin Whitehead, so close, yet so far away. Until we meet again. Now, what did you break at? What did your Rudy Pooh candy asses break? I know you broke. Time step where you lost and why. If MJ Rock means if you were somehow able to make it through this challenge without breaking like the great one himself, then you type down below the smack was laid down. Woo! Post your comments down below. Let J-Rock know what's the thought of this reaction to this video. No rhyme intended on that line. If you enjoyed the great one's reaction, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. Make sure that you hit that bell so you can be notified when it's time to be elected. Thank you for joining J-Rock. Stay tuned for my next video. Mamba GG and Wakanda. But this man, what a rock is cooking.